What's up guys and welcome to another video in Wild Kinetics. My name is Elam and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to build a really simple propeller in Onshape. If you haven't already, uh, smash that like button and subscribe down below if you haven't already. It's the big red button right there if you don't know. And comment down below what you thought of the video and if you guys have any other video ideas for videos that I can do in the future, I am open to ideas. Now let's get into it. So here I have um, my parts studio right here. I have a document open. I'm just going to name this real quick. Uh, propeller. So we're going to start off with making a cylinder. So I'm going to make a sketch on the top plane, shift S, and then C. I hit the C key for a circle. And I'm also going to hit the P key just to hide my points, just to make it easier for me to see things. I'm going to hit the D key. I'm going to make a dimension. Uh, I'm going to probably just, just make it one inch for the sake of simplicity. Now hit shift E to make an extrude. And then you have your little cylinder here. Let's just make it, uh, yeah, let's keep it at one for now. Uh, let's keep it at one, yeah, let's keep it at one. I'm going to just change the, I'm gonna rename it, I'm gonna rename it propeller. And change the appearance. All right, now that that's out of the way, hit your P key to show your planes. Uh, we're gonna need these in a little bit, but then on the top, you see how it's on the top, so on the top, circle of your cylinder, select that, and shift F. And then we're gonna make a fillet in 0.25 because the propeller would need to be aerodynamic, so we're gonna make that 0.25. Next, we're gonna measure the distance from the bottom of the cylinder to this circle. And yes, it is three-fourths of an inch, so that's what we're going to be basing our dimensions on. So now we're going to, what we're going to do is, if we're going to make a two-inch propeller, we're going to click on the right plane right here, so just click here, and then shift S. And then wait for it to load, hit the N key to make your sketch normal to the sketch plane, and then we're going to start making the blades of our propeller. If you're, you're most likely going to need a hole here, at the bottom we're going to do that at the end because... Um, for reasons because the, the propellers would get in the way of the hole if you did it now. So first we're just going to do the blades after you've done the little support of the blades of the propeller. So now what we're going to do is hit the U key right here and then it's U. So we're basically projecting pre-existing geometry onto our sketch. So we're going to project this line here and we're also going to project this line. That's going to be our baseline, like our basis of what we're going to base this on. So now hit L, Q to make our construction line and then go to the origin and then click there and then we're gonna we made a line from here to here from the bottom of this to the top of this where the fillet starts and this is going to be our line to make the blade out of basically so then i'm going to hit the r key and then we're going to go to the midpoint of this line and make the rectangle from there let's make this a eighth of an inch wide so click here, here, and then go off to the side and 0.125. It's already three fourths of an inch, so you don't have to add a dimension here that says 0.75 because we've already uh, dimensioned that. And then now we're not gonna extrude this. Instead, we're gonna hit check, and then we're gonna make a new plane from the right plane. So let's, uh, I'm just gonna make this a really, I guess probably like eight inches total length of the propeller so we're just going to make this one inch uh this plane is going to be this plane is going to be made one inch from the right plane as you can tell so then now what we're going to do is we're going to make a new sketch on that first one so i'm just going to hide all my planes except this one and then hit shift s and then we're going to make a rectangle off to the side over here that is in par with this midpoint so actually first we're going to hit the u key and then we're going to place it right there we're going to project the midpoint of this rectangle and that line right there to basically add the other rectangle in. So then hit the R key and just make a rectangle and hit escape and then dimension it with a D key, uh, 0.75 long or tall, and then 0.125 or an eighth of an inch wide. All right, once you have done that, um, we're going to transform it. The reason I didn't put it right on top here is because I needed it to be transformed. So we're going to right here where it has these four squares where it says linear pattern, click the drop down, transform is the last option. Drag select your rectangle 
and then use this little uh, circle with an arc here to move it. So let's make this 15 degrees, let's just say. All right, so then hit enter and then click check. As you can see, it has that mouse with the check, click check to check your sketch. And then you wanna click on the midpoint of that rectangle and this dot we projected and then hit the I key, makes them coincident. Now, as you can tell, our sketch is still blue and that's because it's not fully constrained. The reason why is because this thing can still be moved like this. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the D key and then we're gonna make a dimension from here to here, to this, to the bottom of the propeller support. And then we're gonna make this 60 degrees because we rotated it, or hold on, has to be, what's 50, 75 degrees, correct? 75 degrees because we rotated it 15 inches or 15 degrees 75 plus 15 is 90 so we'll leave it there for now now we click check and then you click on that sketch and make a new plane that's going to be offset from that leave that at one inch and then click on this plane shift s I'm just gonna hide the first plane because we don't need it anymore. But now we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna make a rectangle here, which is one eighth of an inch, not two, four, five, typo. <laughs> but uh, one eighth of an inch, 0.125 inches by 0.75 inches. All right, and then we're gonna transform it. Since see, the reason we gotta transform is because these are automatically vertical. So we're gonna do transform this to 15 degrees again, or not 15 degrees. This time we're gonna do 30 because this one's already at 15 degrees. So we're gonna make this one at 30. Click this button, um, click the midpoint of this rectangle, center point of the rectangle, and then click the center point of this rectangle and hit I. And then now hit the D key and then we're going to click here and then click the bottom of the propeller support. And then this time it's going to be 60 degrees. So as you can tell, we're kind of making it gradually more horizontal. All right, now we have our four planes like this um, set up in this way that we're going to make a loft, basically. Um, if you don't know what a loft is, I did a video on that um, a little while ago. You should uh, go check that out if you'd like to. And then it's gonna pop up this thing right here. So it says profiles. These are our profiles. So we're gonna start first with this sketch right here. So I'm gonna hide this part real quick so that way it doesn't merge with the propeller. Um, support and then you have this shape right here all right I'm gonna unhide my propeller right here so as you can see it's starting to look like it but I need it to be on the other side right so what I'm gonna do I'm you don't have to name this at all because it's gonna be merged in later on but I'll show you that uh, later on but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go here it has those four three-dimensional cubes those four cubes and then I'm going to click the drop down and do circular pattern. It defaults as part pattern if you're going to pattern a part so I'm just going to click my uh, propeller blade and then the axis of pattern I'm going to click one of the circles here in this um, propeller base and then I don't want um, four propeller blades I just want two so I can do two or I can do if I want to I can do three and they're all gonna be even in space, but I just wanna do two for now if I'm gonna build a propeller for an RC plane. So I'm gonna click check. All right, now, right now this is three parts. So if you were to insert this in an assembly or print it, well, if you printed it, it's probably still be merged, 
but um, if you were to insert it into an assembly, it would probably only insert the uh, one part. Before we join these two propeller blades together, I'm going to um, basically extrude this out a little bit because as you can see, this is coinciding and whenever I try to join it together, it always gives me errors. So I'm gonna click here and hit Shift E to extrude and I'm gonna make it 0.125 inches. And then I'm gonna add it. It's gonna give me an error saying where, which, with which, which part. So I'm gonna hit merge with all real quick. And then boom, my entire part is merged now. And now it's not giving me an error like it was before. It was giving me an error when I tried to boolean it, but now it's not giving me any error at all. The last finishing touch you might want to do, and after that you can you can edit this however you really want to do it, but. The last thing you'd want to do is click these four corners right here and uh, fillet them or make them round. And then there you go, you have a propeller right there. One last part you want to do, I almost forgot, is you want to make your hole. Again, like I said before, this there's a lot of ways you can work with this here. Like there's many different ways you can build this, different sizes, different shapes. So I'm just going to make this, I don't know, let's just make it 3 sixteenths. Uh, 3 sixteenths. And then you want to extrude it. I remember I said earlier in the video, the, the hole is the last thing you want to do. Because um, you want to make sure that, um, because if you, if you make the hole before, these propeller blades would get in the way. Now I assume you probably don't want it to go all the way, so this is probably okay to have it one inch blind. But now you have a... Uh, model plane propeller or an RC plane propeller whichever you use it for that you're able to print and use and if you want to build a 3D model of a plane you can certainly use a propeller like this. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope it was helpful for those of you who needed assistance on how to build a propeller. Drop a massive like on this video, subscribe to the channel down below and I thank you guys for all your support and all your views and thank you so much for helping me reach 100,000 views. I really appreciate it. Um, I appreciate you guys for all your support, and as always, thank you for watching. See you guys next time.